OK, in this video, a block A of mass 2.5 kilos is attached to a particle B of mass 1.3 kilos by a light inextensible string. The string is taut and passes over a smooth pulley. B is held at rest on a horizontal surface and B lies on a smooth plane inclined at 45 degrees to the horizontal. When A is released from rest, it accelerates at 0.15 meters per second per second towards the pulley. Find the tension in the string. That's the first part. OK, so here is my diagram. Let's start adding forces to this. So A has a mass of 2.5 kilos. So it has a weight of 2.5 g. There will be a normal reaction force R. And as we can see from the problem, there's a frictional force working against the direction of motion. There's a tension in the string. OK, tension in the string there. We're accelerating at uh, 0.15 meters per second per second. And so we're accelerating this particle as well. There's no uh, frictional force for B because the, um, we're told that the inclined plane is smooth. The weight for B works vertically downwards. B has a mass of 1.3 kilos and so has a weight of 1.3 G. We can draw in the rest of that triangle. So we've got uh, 1.3 G, uh, so that's 45 degrees, isn't it? So 1.3 G sine of 45 and 1.3 G cosine of 45 for the opposite and adjacent to that triangle. OK, so that's looking like it. OK, so find the tension in the string. Right, so um, let's resolve horizontally for A then. So if I resolve A horizontally, OK, then I'm going to take to the right as positive, the direction of motion. So I've got the tension, I've got the friction. Uh, so tension working in that direction, friction working in the opposite direction. And that's got to be equal to the mass times by the acceleration. OK, so... Uh, 2.5 times 0.15 is 3 eighths, so 0.375. OK, so that's uh, one equation. So let's now resolve B, um, and we're going to be parallel to the plane. So taking uh, down the plane as positive, We've got the weight working downwards, so we've got the 1.3g sine 45. And working against me is the tension, and that's got to be equal to the mass times acceleration. So 1.3 times the 0.15, which is 0.195. Right, so there's equation number two. So I can add those two equations together, okay, and that'll get me the friction, okay, and then I'll be able to substitute in and get the tension. So equation one plus equation two, uh, I've got the 1.3g sine 45, take away the frictional force, is equal to, I've got the 0.375 plus the 0.195, uh, which is 0.57. So F, the frictional force, 1.3 times 9.8 times sine of 45 um, is 9.0085. And take away the 0.57. So the frictional force is 8.438, etc. So I'll write down the whole thing. 4385-40392. And so that's 8.4 newtons to 2 sig fig. So that's my frictional force. So if I substitute that back in to um, the top equation, the tension is the 8.4385, etc., uh, adding on the 0.375. And so I get. 8.8135, so 8.8 .8 newtons to 2 sig thick. 
OK, so I've now got the tension. That's what I wanted to find for part A. Now, as for part B, I'm asked to find the calculate, uh, calculate the coefficient of friction between A and the horizontal surface. Now, because we're accelerating, that means that F is equal to mu times R. Now, I've already got the frictional force okay, through the calculations that I made for part A. So I need the value of R. So if I resolve A uh, taking upwards as positive, then I've got the R, I've got the 2.5G working against me, and there's no acceleration in the vertical direction, and so that's just 0. So R is 2.5 times G, so that's 24.5 newtons. So the frictional force, uh, the 8.438, is equal to mu times the 24.5. So 8.4385403.92, OK? Uh, divide that by 24.5, and we get 0 0.3444, so 0 0.34 to two significant figures. That is the coefficient of friction between A and the horizontal surface.